If you don't plan to be nobody's dinner, you might want to hold off. <laughs> What's up, babe? It's B, and I'm back with another video. If you're returning, thank you. If you're new here, welcome. I am coming today with another video, and I'm actually gonna do my summer slash hot. I want to say hot girl, but I'm not meaning like hot girl unless that's the way you want me to mean it. Um, fragrances. All right, so I'm actually just going to jump right into it because low key, this is like my 27th time retaking this video and we're not going to do it anymore. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. So first things first, we're going to jump into the YSL Mon Paris. I'm pretty sure that you've seen it in many different places. Um, I actually don't see this one as much. Um, a lot of people wear the black opium or they wear um, the leaf, which I do have. But this one right here is saying, I'm a piece of candy, come eat me. It is saying, what are you waiting for? It is saying, I'm a boss and I smell like one, a feminine boss. Um, so disclaimer, I am not your musk girl. I am not your vanilla girl. I am not. I am very much fruity. Come give me some sugar. <laughs> um, not super sweet like on the vanilla aspect, but very much fruity. All right. So when it comes down to your YSL Mon Paris, I'm going to give you guys some, uh, some notes from some of them I have. So this one, the top notes are strawberry, raspberry, pear, orange, tangerine, Calibrian, Bergamot, and Cologne, uh, or Cologne. The middle notes are Peony, Jasmine, Sambac, Chinese, Jap Jasmine, uh, Datura, Orange Blossom, and then some of the base notes are Indonesian, Patchouli, Leaf, Patchouli, White Musk, Vanilla, Abraxan, and Moss and Cedar. So one thing you guys are going to see throughout this whole process is that I got a little bit of a type. I do have a type, you know. I ain't got no type now. Anyways, I do have a type. Um, so most of the fragrances that I am going to mention have a little bit of those notes in them. But when I tell you that, you know, this is the fragrance that you're spraying and you go, you're going on a date night with Bae. You know, when you get in the car and you're like, hey Bae, hey Bae. You know, it's like that kissable type of fragrance. Like, love on me, <laughs> please. Okay, so this is going to be that girl she's top tier for me i actually wear her all year round but definitely hits different when the sun is shining on you and you done sprayed her and he like babe let's go to lunch and you're like i am lunch anyways she's bomb get her so next is going to be an og okay and that's viva la juicy you can't have fruity and girly and not have my girl viva okay i'm a mad because this is a small bottle all right um i ran out of a big bottle and then i normally kind of try to catch her at marshall's or tj maxx because let's see is she focusing um because it's it's an old fragrance but just like all those girls got light blue in their uh collection this is my light blue and the sun is hating on my life right now so hopefully we can hurry up and get through this video because again whatever all right, so again, um, Viva La Juicy, she will never stop being that girl for me. I don't care. I will buy her over and over and over and over and over and over again and over and over again. Get you some Viva. And I'm actually, so the notes for her, hold on, we need some lighting. How get all. Just the sun just decides to go down. But anyways, we won't let anything stop making sure you girlies know where to start at for the summertime fragrances so we were on our viva la juicy and for some of the notes that are in viva la juicy you got amber sandalwood pralines vanilla and caramel and i was really kind of surprised to see how much of the how much the caramels and the vanillas because normally like i'm not your sugar cookie type of gal i'm not your straight up vanilla like the vanilla needs to be mixed with like some lavender or for some patchouli or something like that for me to be a fan um but i am i'm a forever fan i think a forever fan so um viva la juicy will never go away for me next baby 
you can just go ahead and type thank you Bianca in the comments below because she's that girl and I don't care what anyone has to say. I don't care what anyone has to say. I absolutely love this um, this Sunkiss Hibiscus by Nest. So some of the notes um, I'll read you guys for that one are going to be coconut, frangipani, middle notes are tuberose, gardenia, and orange blossom, and then the base note is amber. So again, I told you guys with my fragrances, you're probably going to notice a little bit of a pattern. So like that, um, ambers and things like that, but baby, this one is that type of scent that you don't got out the shower. You don't did the works in the shower, okay? You didn't shaved, you didn't exfoliate it. Now you're ready to get out. You're gonna lotion your body with your favorite body butter. You're gonna put on your robe, your best robe, okay? Because this one says somebody is coming over or somebody is waiting, okay? And I don't know who it is that's your business, don't tell me, but somebody better be coming over and you better spray it all over your body okay now if you don't plan to be nobody's dinner you might want to hold off but this one definitely says i am i am dinner and dessert what are you waiting for like <laughs> and the packaging is so cute y'all now that i got the the lights it's so bright up in here um the packaging is super cute having the hibiscus flower in the back um you can see it through there and yeah, so definitely get the sun kiss hibiscus. To me, I like it better than everyone going crazy over the wild poppy. Ness knew exactly what they were doing when they brought this one away. All right, so next up is going to be Giorgio Marni's My Way. I know that you all have seen this everywhere. As you can see, I have literally put a dent in my like she is well used over here and some of the notes for the um for them are orange blossom bergamot the middle notes are tuberose indian jasmine and the base notes are madagascar vanilla white musk and virgin cedar so this definitely definitely is this one is like my spicy girl like when i want to go to work or when i'm going somewhere and i want you to know that yeah i'm super feminine and i'm girly but i'll beat your ass you know it's like not really, you know, like not really saying that we're going to do that in the workplace, but I want you to know that it's like, oh, girl, you know, you got a you got a little attitude, you know, you, you might not be one to mess with like this right here says you showed up, but you are still in your feminine place. You know, I this one is just like I'm going to be buying her forever as well. Now, what I will say um, about the Giorgio Armani is I've kind of noticed and, and I have absolutely zero problems with it. Like when I smell the C, which is next up for me to um purchase i just haven't purchased it yet they smell very similar um most of his fragrances smell the same kind of like the valentinos for me um and that's not a complaint i absolutely love it she's spicy she's sweet she's like i'm that and i love it all right you definitely need this one for your summertime fragrance if you have not smelled it or if you're contemplating just pull the trigger she's it all right, so next up is Marc Jacobs Perfect. Now, I got her in the lineup simply because the girlies are going crazy. I've had her for some months now, and I'm not running to this scent. I'm not running to this scent, but she is light and clean. She smells like dish soap, in my opinion, like dish soap but like a like a like a dish soap that you wouldn't mind wearing some days i'm like why did i buy this and other days i'm like that's why i bought it okay um and if you guys hear the fireworks just please excuse it um but yeah so um this one right here like i said it's not it's like a seven out of ten for me i definitely don't reach i've only reached for her simply because i put like i've done damage on my my top like my 10 out of 10s and i've been trying to give them a break before i had to rebuy them so um people would normally love this because the bottle is cute um it has a lot of different things that are symbolic to him i do believe that this bottle was his like i'm i'm becoming bottle um it has like a balloon a banana a heel a domino all of that stuff or whatever i do think 
This one is a warm floral. It has rhubarb, daffodil, the middle notes is almond milk, and the base is cashmere. So um, again, it's a seven out of 10 for me. It's, I don't think that it, it should be hyped as much as it's, as it's hyped, but it's definitely clean. So if you're not, if you want something that's like not super fruity or not super sweet, then this, this may be more for you. Um, again, it's more like dish soap <laughs> to me, but in a perfume style. Um, so yeah, definitely can still work for the summer. Um, and once you kind of mix in your own body chemistry, then it may come out a little bit better. So next I have Lancome's Idol or Idole, whichever way it's pronounced or whichever way you like to see it being pronounced. So for this one, right, normally I'm like Lancome, mm, Lancome says granny. Well, for me personally, and what I would suggest anyone doing this, trying to get into fragrances where you're like, man, I really want to jump into this, but I don't really know where to start or how to do it. I would suggest off of when you're watching these videos to pick one that you really want to smell. Go spray it on yourself and tell them you'll be back. Maybe tomorrow, go back tomorrow, or maybe, um, you know, you'll order it or however later. Spray it on yourself. Because for one, when they spray it on the cards, the card doesn't have an, a body's pH level. So what you're smelling, you're going through three different phases, which is why they say top note, middle note, bottom note. You're going to go through an experience. Spraying perfume is like an experience. All right. So when you spray it on yourself and you want to see if this really works for you, you may spray it and think, wow, this smells really good. And then you get home and you're like, what the fuck is that? You know, and you're like, dang, like you're trying to figure it out and it's you. You done spray something on you and you don't like the way it marinated with your body. The, the recipe isn't working. So therefore, I bring this in and I say, when you first smell it, it's giving old white lady. And that's no offense to my old white ladies because I love them too. But, you know, kind of like, I'm going to send my grandma to church. But then, I sprayed it. And this is actually my most complimented perfume my most complimented perfume and i think it's funny because i'm like wow like i i would have never thought but anyways when this one melts down with me i normally wear this to business occasions anything dealing with work or if i have to go handle some business i'll spray this and i normally like to blend it with like my body mist as well but i always there's never a time that i have sprayed this and i have not been complimented it's giving i'm grown up okay so um but it's definitely sweet it's definitely very fresh for the summer or spring um you know it's not a, a very heavy scent and i actually think that you may like it if it marinates with your body chemistry so um yeah that's lancome idol all right so next up and for the sake of this video i'm not going to go through all of my beginner fragrances but i do want to bring in a very low level and a very high level ones ones that are good to start with and maybe one that's good to not necessarily end with but to say that you reach another goal and that's going to be my ariana grande cloud y'all knew it was coming y'all know if you don't know you need to know um so what's funny about this is she's very compared to um baccarat and when i first heard that i was like huh because when I got this fragrance, no one, like, it wasn't a time where, like, you saw the, the girlies in the TikTok with it, you know, all this stuff or whatever. As you can see, like, she's empty. But don't worry, I have another box in the drawer over there. I got backup to her because she's cheap enough for me to buy a backup to my backup. But I wore her to bed because whether I'm going to bed with somebody, which I'm not, but I just want to get out the shower and I want to smell her and I just want to be like... Oh, like I'm laying on a cloud and that is a definitely definitely if I had to envision what that be like it would be in this bottle okay it's very warm um you can really smell the vanilla in it but it is not as strong not like the Billie Eilish um it is spicy so you can tell it has a little bit of bergamot in it um but she's cheap enough for you to have enough okay um, I bought this, like I said, I had only bought it because I was gone, but I always have loved Ariana Grande's perfumes. A lot of people say, oh, like it's so childish, but put a pacifier in my mouth and call me a baby. I love it. Period.
All right, so the last fragrance that I'm actually going to talk about today in this video is going to be the big dog, Tom Ford. All right, uh, Tom Ford's Bitter Peach, y'all. This is definitely an investment, and I am super grateful because this was gifted to me after I talked about it so, 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 so much because I love anything peach. I'm a Georgia girl for one, and two, I love anything that smells like a peach, tastes like a peach. I want it hand her here hand her over i want you so with this first of all the bottle oh top tier now again this is an investment all right because this is going to be about 500 dollars. so if you can get someone to gift this for you this is going to be amazing but if i had to describe this to you and i'm going to describe it because i didn't pull the notes for this right but i need you to close your eyes and i need you to imagine that you just bought the best most fresh thing of peaches and you came home and you decided to slice those peaches with your good cutlery and you toss them in a pan and you're adding some cinnamon some brown sugar a little bit of bourbon some butter and you melt that all up and you let that aroma just start to hit and everyone's like, what is that? Baby, it's Tom Ford. <laughs> it's Tom Ford. Okay, it's bitter. It's giving, yes, I'm better than you. It's giving, I don't care, take them kids. It's giving, I've done great things with my life. And what I love about it is like it really takes you on that experience. When you first spray this one, it's like, oh, literally like a bitter peach. Like, oh, you know, but then it starts to marinate and it starts to dance with your body chemistry. And you're like, oh, my God. You find yourself like, like, damn, is that me? Like, this one will make you mad that you're single because you should not be the only one having to smell this on your body. Trust me when I say. Now, I will say that it might be an acquired taste as well because if you are not a fruity person, but I feel like even if you're a musky, masculine type of person, like this is, this is like, this is beautiful. I definitely feel like if you gotta have a high-end perfume in your collection aside from like the baccarat or whatever yes yes and yes all right guys so that's going to conclude my fragrance haul for today if you guys would like to see another video with me and my fragrances that i have i don't have a all the all the perfume bottles out there but i have a pretty decent amount um and i hope to continue to grow more it is definitely a hobby that i have grown to love and very expensive one um, but now, you know, they have all different type of ways that you can get these. So I say if you want to treat yourself to once a month, go to Sephora, uh, you know, get you a bottle, put it on Klarna, put it on Afterpay, whatever they use and, you know, pay it off and then go get you another one. Because one thing a woman should smell is good. Like even if it's for yourself, you know, it just gives you a confidence that we all need. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, my take on these fragrances. Definitely go get you some. If you're already wearing them, you already have them, let me know which one was your favorite. Which one do you want to try? Talk to me. I talk back. I don't bite. Um, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope I see you in the next video. And P.S. Let me know if you like this, y'all. I talk, okay? I, I get feedback. Or I love feedback, should I say. All right. And I want to know what you guys want to see so that I can deliver. All right. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you head out. I do pretty much everything. There is no niche over here. Anything that's lifestyle and anything I like, you're going to get it on all things B, period. All right. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.